So meanwhile, Canada shelled out nearly $1.74 million into this. Yep. And Ireland spent around eight hundred grand, and Norway spent $2.8 million. Yeah, I don't understand how it works. I, I, I don't get why you wouldn't want Canada at the table. But I honestly don't understand how it works. It sucks. Trudeau, I, that was something I actually thought he did fairly decently at. Yeah, well, apparently he didn't do that well either, so. <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> I think it's because he just doesn't seem genuine. Yeah. Or maybe everybody else is recognizing that he's selling out his own country. Maybe they recognize that. Who knows? Well, I don't think that matters to the Security Council. They just care about security and money. Yeah. We gave a terrorist $10 million. Yeah, right? <laughs> How much did we give to the fucking Security Council? One, one point something million. Yeah, and we gave a terrorist we gave ten. A fucking terrorist ten. That's <laughs> they're, they're, you got to think they're looking at that. Yeah. Wait a minute. How come that guy got nine million more than us, and all he did was <laughs> kill Americans? <laughs> That's how Justy rolls. Oh, uh, that was so- way pre beard. Yes. Very much pre-beard. I'm not uh, sure he could grow a beard when he did that. No, probably not. Um, You heard about Aunt Jemima? No, uh, they've been talking. That's an old one, too. They've been talking about it's, that forever. They finally official. agreed on it. Blah, who gives a shit? But they, well, they've agreed that they're going to change it, but they still don't know to what. <laughs> I'm sure they'll get it horribly wrong. Yep. <laughs> They'll come I up. just can't wait what's going to be. It's going to be Jamal. something it's gonna terrible. Be some like the Mexican something. or something. <laughs> some Filipino fat lady <laughs> loves her flapjacks. <laughs> what? That's, That's equally so as racist. It is not. She's Filipino. It's totally different. <laughs> that is not a good argument. I love the fact that they're saying that, you know, they said that the, the, the brand perpetuated the idea of a mammy character, a submissive black woman who nurtured her white master's children. It's a picture of a smiling black woman. Yeah. How do you she, get that from a picture of a smiling black woman? Apparently, she's based on a real person who was a slave. Yes. And they recognize that it came from a full-on stereotype and, and everything else. And they admit all that, but. I mean, I'm whatever. I don't even care anymore. This is this is Whole Food shoppers getting involved. I don't think any black person has a problem with Angie Mimo. No, I don't know that for sure, but I would say probably not. There's I a lot of white people complaining. Um, I would like to rally against the Maytag man. Yeah, or Mr. All Coon. repair guys are short. For, or all repair guys are fat white guys that are lonely. Yep. Mean. Mr. Clean. He's racist. Yeah. Black people can't be clean? What the hell? I don't know. We can start picking apart everything from the last 200 years if we want to. And that's what the world is doing now. It's not solving anything. It's not any companies that are coming out after 80 years, 90 years in business, and you're now just seeing the error of your way. You're not making yourself look good. This isn't helping. No one's going, oh, wow, what a grand change you've made people are going what the fuck took you so long why are you doing it now you pandering morons you're like that lady and a bullum you're gonna change your shit make it worse and still not understand what you did wrong in the first place it's just a fuck well for the record they are actually in talks with lady a the original lady a of course they are they have reached out to her and they're in talks and the basically the band is saying we really don't want to have to change our name a third time. And she's like, well, you should have fucking thought of that before you tried to steal mine. <laughs> like, you just announced it. It's not like anything's changed. You haven't released an it, album under the name, you fucking hypocrite. They fucking should just fuck. drop the A altogether and just be a lady. Just be lady. Hey, lady. All the day. Your band still sucks. I don't care how much. This is such a great way to keep yourself in the news, though. That's all they're fucking doing. Oh, yeah. How many people That's... know Lady Antebellum that didn't last week? <laughs> no 
nobody had a fucking clue who they were, and now all of a sudden they're relevant. So yeah. they, it, the whole fucking thing could be on purpose, for all I know, just to get them, hey, let's fucking steal this name, and then we'll look shitty in the news, and people will talk about us for a month. Well, that's what Lady A said. <laughs> she called him right out for it. <laughs> Thought that was amazing of her. Way to go. <laughs> Now, uh, speaking of all this, 95 billion of these fucking stories we're going to hear in the next, well, between now and November, November, the news will change because it'll all be how Trump fixed the election. And COVID will be back. Yeah, I'm thinking Labor Day. Fifth for round? That. Yeah. I think round four for that one at that point. Uh, 1% of tested protesters came back positive. One percent. Thirty-three hundred protesters in Minneapolis were tested, and three point three came back with fucking disease. That yeah, true. who probably had it prior. Yeah. So there you go. We're not dying. No. The um, second wave is not going to be much of a ripple. <laughs> well, two seventeen-year-old white girls are starting a movement and we talked about this actual not too long ago like the ridiculousness of this quote-unquote sport the equestrian world old horses jumping over stuff oh yeah yeah, yeah, i know and they're basically they're not pointing any fingers as much as they're just saying you know i just think a discussion should be made over the fact that there's no black people in here and the people have just like the people involved in the particular thing that she's talking about, they're like, well, it costs between one and $2,000 a month on training and board, another $1,500 on veterinary bills and other bills. I don't know a whole lot of people that can drop $2,500 a month on top of the regular shit. That doesn't become around necessarily race as much as who can afford it. Well, that is just what you're we're saying, implying the- that black people can't afford it, and in itself, kind of a racist thing to say. No, um, not saying that at all. A bunch of Asian people can, but don't. Yeah, but if the <laughs> response to why is there no black people here is because it's twenty five hundred dollars a month, the implication therein is that black people don't have that kind of money. It's a bad response. It's extremely exclusive. It's not a matter of race. It's a matter of affordability. It's a very, yeah, very, but the question very is, small... There aren't black people here. And your answer is it's a matter of affordability. No, I didn't say that was my answer. I'm just saying one of the things brought up was, I said, according to the website, here's what the cost on this is. Right. Which That's... has nothing to do with the color of your skin. So if the question is, why is there no black people here? That shouldn't be factored into it. The question shouldn't be a matter of why are there no black people. The question should be a matter of is your question about what about the other races? Why are you only pointing the finger at black people in this sport? Because it's a. I don't see. I mean, you've got a standard. Right I'm staring at about five different pictures here from four different web things of these different groups of all these equestrians. I see one Asian, one black, and the rest are all white. So well, where's yeah. your issue with all the other ones? It's a Why is your thing sport. that it's only a black thing? Right. I agree. It's a ridiculous sport. It's fucking stupid. But why is this it's not a race issue? It's an economic issue. Who can afford to do it? Those who can afford to do it will do it. Not the if smart they, ones. If their kids want to. Well, no, not the smart ones. The extremely pampered ones. <laughs> So that's my, I mean, I just, again, that my whole thing wasn't a matter of pointing out that, well, there's no black people in here. The question should be a matter of, if your question is truly about race, it won't be about black people. It'll be about all the races. Yeah, but the world's not talking about all the races right now. All the races aren't making the news right now. Yeah. This is somebody grabbing onto something that shouldn't be grabbed onto. Nah, it's just the news. Linking onto a problem that's got nothing to do with it. Yeah. (laughs) Trying to feed on the... Fucking fear and rhetoric that you know they they have to they've got nothing else. Yeah, that is very true. Um, I would venture you... to say people understand that equestrian sports are stupid. Um, <laughs> they're boring, and 
if you look at horse racing, it's mostly Mexicans so, and South Americans. So you're wrong there too, newspaper yeah. guy. So <laughs> whatever. Why is there no black people? How many black people do you know that ride horses? Like it's a stupid thing to do and they've got better things to do. <laughs> This is where I say black people are fucking smarter than white people. <laughs> they don't get into this shit. <laughs> um, there was a time not too long ago when the, the question was in the NHL. When there was like six black players in the entire league and people tried to make a big deal out of that. <laughs> and that, that wasn't exclusivity either. That was just no. black people don't like hockey. Yeah. In general. In general. Yes. I'm making general statements. And some of them are stereotypes. And I make them because that's my experience with those particular people. If you have a problem with it, feel free to email me. Gwyneth Paltrow's vagina at gmail.com. But I'm not playing this game. I am not changing who I am or how I speak. And I believe I've, I've definitely offended some people recently. Um, mm. I've also gotten some respect from people for it. Uh, and that's whatever. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend I'm something I'm not. Just to play along with the media's little fucking games. So. Yeah. No. Fuck that bullshit. You know, it's funny. I made the I made I made the comment to uh to somebody the other day. I said, you know, I'm I'm right now at this very particular moment, I am thankful that there is no other knife sharpener in town that is that is black because otherwise my business would officially be done with oh 100 <laughs> percent. not because of skill not because of anything else because of race or the whole fucking police department we'd be banging down your door <laughs> yeah, sharpen our knives. we don't want to go to that guy yeah <laughs> uh you remember that cop that guy that or that dude we, we talked about this the other day that passed out drunk in the fucking parking lot yeah and then fought with the cops and you ended up yeah, getting shot God. over it. Uh, yeah those two well, cops, the cops just now got charged charged like jesus not justified i don't know i'm on the I, technically i'm sort of on the fence with it i'm i'm really not stop killing these people arrest them and put them in jail but if the guy grabs one of your weapons and points it at you and pulls the trigger. Call for backup. Your backup's beside you. You're He's wearing, wearing a fucking bulletproof vest. You've got a whole fucking department with a radio on your goddamn shoulder. Call for help. You're wearing bulletproof fucking gear. You think a Doesn't taser's going to go head, through that? It. Fuck off. You have anything at your, at your disposal to get other cops there to de-escalate the situation. Lock yourself in your car. Do something. You don't need to kill people. There's plenty of other ways. The guy took a taser for fuck's sake. They don't even drop people on the first try sometimes. The fucking if cops all. scared of it? Fuck off. They didn't drop him the first time when he hit him with it. <laughs> that's a, that's Looking for thing. any excuse to justify killing people. Stop doing it. Get on the radio that's strapped to your shoulder and say, I need help. There's a crazy guy with my taser. The whole force could have showed up and put that thing to rest easily. And a, there would be a black man being charged with assaulting a police officer right now instead of two guys getting charged with fucking murder. Sounds amazing, but we're both pretty sure what would have happened if more cops showed up on the scene. Well, that's why this shit's just going to keep going on forever. <laughs> Until cops get it through their fucking heads that they can't, they are not fucking executioners. I, had, I would love to know what their training comes down. Like when they get trained, are they trained no matter what the situation is? You pull your gun immediately. Is that, are they taught that? I don't that know how they're, they're taught in America. I know the RCMP is taught the bipolar opposite of that. Yeah. I don't know what American police training is like. Or are they being trained one thing, but then once they're out in the field, the person they're paired up with trains them about how you really do the job. 